So we have this pretty complicated, some would say hairy expression right over here. And what I want you to do is pause this video and see if you can simplify this based on what you know about exponent rules. All right, now let's do this together. There's many ways you could approach this, but what my brain wants to do is first try to simplify this part right over here. I have a bunch of stuff in here to an exponent power. And one way to think about that, if I have, let's say, a times b to the, let's call it c power, this is the same thing as a to the c times b to the c power. So we could do that with this part right over here. And actually, let me just simplify this so I don't have to keep rewriting things. So this can be rewritten as 5m, or let me be careful, this is going to be 5 squared times m to the negative one-third squared times n squared, which is the same thing as 25. Now if I raise something to an exponent and then raise that to an exponent, so there's another exponent property here. If I have a to the b and then I raise that to the c, then I multiply the exponents. This is equal to a to the b times c power. So here we would multiply these exponents. So it's 25m, 2 times negative 1 third is negative 2 thirds. And then of course we have this n squared right over here. So actually let me just rewrite everything so we don't lose too much track. So we have 75, I wrote m, 75m to the 1 third n to the negative 7. And then I simplified the bottom part, I'll do that same color, as 25 m to the negative 2 thirds n squared. Now some of y'all might immediately be able to skip some steps here, but I'll try to make it very, very explicit. What I'm going to do, read, what I'm going to do is rewrite this expression as the product of fractions or as a product of rational expressions. So I could rewrite this, this as being equal to 75 divided by 25, which I think you know what that is, but I'll just write it like that, times and then we'll worry about these right over here, times m to the 1 third over m to the negative 2 thirds, and then times, I'll do this in blue, times n to the negative 7 over n squared. Now 75 over 25, we know what that is. That's going to be equal to 3. But how do we simplify this right over here? Well here, we can remind ourselves another exponent property. If I have, let's call it a to the b over c to the d, or actually it has to have the same base, over a to the c, this is going to be the same thing as a to the b minus c power. So I can rewrite all of this business. I have my three here, three times m to the 1 third, and then I'm going to subtract this exponent. We have to be very careful. We're subtracting a negative. So we're subtracting negative 2 thirds. That's all that exponent for m. And then we're going to have times n to the negative 7 power minus 2. And so now we are in the home stretch. This is going to be equal to 3 times m to the, what's 1 third minus negative 2 thirds? Well, that's the same thing as 1 third plus 2 thirds, which is just 3 thirds, which is just 1. So this is just m to the first power, which is the same thing as just m. And then that is going to be times negative 7 minus 2, that is negative 9. So times n to the negative 9th power. And we are done. And that is strangely satisfying to take something that hairy and make it, I guess, less hairy? Now some folks might not like having a negative nine exponent here. They might want only positive exponents. So you could actually rewrite this and we could debate whether it's actually simpler or less simple. But we also know the exponent properties that if I have a to the negative n, that is the same thing as one over a to the n. So based on that, I could also rewrite this as three we do it in the same color as that three, as three times m, and then instead of saying times n to the negative nine, we could say that is over 
that is over n to the ninth. So that's another way to rewrite that expression.